cold weather may have your yard looking sad. <laughs> if you've got to, for, to cover your plants, though, don't worry. Mine looks tragic. ABC 15's Mike Felton turning into our resident plant doctor for the day. He joins us live at Whitfield Nursery in Phoenix. And Mike, is it even possible to bring some of these plants back to life? Well, we know there are a lot of plants that now need emergency surgery. As the nursery tells me, they've taken a lot of calls the past couple of days. So we asked, what do you do if you forgot you had plants or you just forgot to cover them and the frost is winning the battle? Anything that, that like is barely uncovered got hit. And consider, this happened at Whitfield Nursery. And yes, they covered the plants. This is a healthy leaf. That's one that got frozen. And maybe you're seeing this kind of sad looking leaf in your own yard. Matthew Whitfield at Whitfield Nursery says, hey, it's Arizona. It's easy to forget to cover plants. You have a lot of people coming from like Idaho that have no idea they need to cover stuff. They think this is warm and then it kind of felt dead. You can't undo the damage, but Matthew says don't press the panic button and definitely don't start cutting off those sorry looking leaves. The more you cut off today, the more you expose to the frost tomorrow. So if you if you keep cutting it back and then it keeps freezing, you keep losing more and more of the plant. It might look ugly for now. The best thing to do is, you know, just kind of smile and hope it all gets better. There really is nothing to do for them today. Matthew says treat the plants as though they're healthy and wait for nighttime temperatures to consistently hit above 45 degrees, then start to trim. It's common knowledge to water plants if there's a frost coming, but if you have succulents like cactus or agaves or aloe or anything like that, you don't want to water it, especially when it's dormant like this. The more water you put on those guys will rot them. So if you have plants like bougainvillea or hibiscus, that's these guys right here, make sure you cover them up tonight. Now, the good news is this is all about perspective and we only have to deal with this for a few days. For now, we're live in Phoenix tonight. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank goodness. One of my least favorite chores around the house to cover the plants. Mike, thank you.